In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Today is Monday the 11th of May, and a warm welcome uh, to the Eucharist here at St George's Paris, where, if you're watching from uh, the UK or further afield, you may be able to sense the excitement as um, France begins um, uh, the the end of lockdown. We offer Mass today especially for all those who are travelling uh, into work today and who are afraid, for all those who are responsible for uh, ensuring um, the safety and health uh, of uh, the citizens of Paris uh, and we pray for those who have to make decisions about whether or not uh, we're doing the right thing. We pray too for all those uh, who are stressed at home those who are suffering from mental ill health and those uh, who are uh, experiencing a lack of safety at home. If that's everybody, that's everybody. What are you choosing to do with your first day of déconfinement? Um, what uh, did the disciples choose to do uh, when they were first free of the Lord's presence? Feel lost? Feel um, uh, unsure? until they receive direction from him. So let us then uh, look for direction to the Lord as we confess our need of him, as we set, prepare to celebrate the Eucharist. In penitence then for our sins, let us turn to the Lord for mercy and healing. Remember us, O Lord, and visit us with your saving help. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have sinned and done wrong and dealt wickedly. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Save us, O Lord our God, for your name's sake, that we may glory in your praise. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for today. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant us that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When an attempt was made by both Gentiles and Jews, with all their rulers, to maltreat the apostles and to stone them, they learnt of it and fled to Lystra and Derbe, cities of Laconia, and to the surrounding country. And there they continued proclaiming the good news. In Lystra there was a man sitting who could not use his feet and had never walked, for he had been crippled from birth. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. And Paul, looking at him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said in a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And the man sprang up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Laconian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. He and the crowds wanted to offer sacrifice. When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We are mortals just like you, and we bring you good news, that you should turn from these worthless things to the living God, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In past generations he allowed all the nations to follow their own ways, yet he has not left himself without a witness in doing good, giving you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filling you with food and your hearts with joy. Even with these words they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the first.
first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The risen Christ came and stood amongst his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so far, the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, Virgin Mother of God, George, Genevieve and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. 
Amen. In the light of the resurrection, let us pray as our Saviour has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. May the God of peace, through the blood of the eternal covenant, work in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.